Hey everyone, and welcome to a, another studio vlog, the 48th edition. I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a bit of a more um, relaxing week for me because I've already got my Patreon mail out uh, or sticker sheets finished for this month and all of that kind of stuff in my Etsy shop update is live so you guys would have seen some footage of me and the hubby working on some christmas gifts because i absolutely love doing handmade gifts especially for the adults in our lives just because once you get to a certain age you don't really need anything anymore so this studio vlog is going to be a little bit different it's going to be more you know, decorating the house for Christmas. Like I'm right now, as you guys would have seen, I, I also am working on some orange garlands. I'm also gonna be doing some little potpourri. Um, it's it's kind of like an interesting kind of potpourri because you have to put it in boiling water for it to really... Oh, my parents are calling. I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm gonna be cutting up some rum cake that my Nana put together, so I can't wait, or her recipe, so we'll get going on that. Hello? I found this fun DIY that you end up dehydrating, which is kind of fun. I've got a dehydrating setting on my oven and I wanted to make a orange garland as well as using it for a, another DIY project for the family. And so uh, you gotta poke a whole bunch of holes after you've dehydrated them and thread it through whatever kind of twine or whatever you want to hang it on. So I decided to put it on this fun twine that Chris ends up using for boxes and stuff, but I really like it. Oh, our cat's here. Hello, Blaze. Um, and then I got Chris to hang it up. I think it's it turned out super, super great. Uh, it doesn't really smell like much, which is kind of funny, but it's definitely super adorable. And the cool thing is that they um they last which is really neat so another thing my doula ended up saying you can take rose petals because we had some rose petals from the mother's blessing and you can make a rose latte with it so i decided that i would try my hand at that with oh my little boy he is left-handed chris he's touching me with his left hand oh. Uh, so here's the settings if you want to learn how to make it. Come, Blaze. Come on, Mommy. Go, boy. He loves to cuddle me all the time now, guys. And so does my other cat, Snowflake. I think they, they know. They know that something is up. Where do you want to go, little man? Stay with me. So here's me straining out uh, all of the petals and putting them in a teapot. It didn't really taste like much. Like, what did you think about the rose latte when I made it? 
was nice. Yeah, it, it was. Didn't really taste like yeah, no, it didn't really taste like much. It was nice. Um, I mean, my sweet boy. I'm not gonna complain. It was. It was uh, definitely interesting. And then you just uh, use whatever kind of milk you want, and you froth it on top. Fun thing is, um, Chris bought me this uh, Nespresso milk frother. My God, so many years ago, and I still absolutely love the thing. So I'm gonna be doing a DIY project here for the adults in my life. So uh, you need some cloves and cinnamon sticks and little jars. We got the jars from the dollar store. And then more of those dehydrated oranges. And um, we have extra brush from our Christmas tree. And then I also put some rosemary and in the oven to get that all dried out and literally you just want to make this presentable and put it in little jars and um, just kind of you know shove it all in there and make it look all nice so you can cut up your orange slices or keep them full uh, totally up to you then just honestly just keep layering everything until you're happy with the way that it looks I mean I think it's just so so cute and um, then from there you just put on the lid and then I decided to put a little bit of twine with some information as to uh, the fact that you you boil this you actually just put it on the stove and boil it and then I took some extra little bit of the evergreen and just added that just to make it look even more adorable and that's literally all you need to do for this stove top potpourri and i mean even if they don't end up using it that way it's still really cute in the jar like this like i could totally see people just wanting to keep this like this and honestly why not <laughs> so here they are all finished and i am so pleased with myself with how they look um, yeah, they're just super pretty looking. Welcome on back everyone. I've got an adorable puppy over here with me. She is enjoying the beautiful sunlight. Gosh, she can barely... There you go. You guys can see her now. Hi, baby. You come here, sweet baby girl. Oh, she's so sleepy, everyone. Oh, I can't handle it. <laughs> uh, anyways, I just wanted to pop on really quickly, my poor girl, um, and say hi. I am still here doing things. I've got a lot of Etsy orders. I feel like, you know, this time of year is just so wonderful because, you know, after a weekend, I end up getting a lot of sales. To me, a lot of sales anyways. I've got six orders to get ready and I've been in the midst of getting them prepped. One person needed a whole bunch of Animal Crossing stickers. 
uh, because they want to put them in party packs and I'm also doing some freelance work for a friend he has a friend that wants to do a mascara box and they feel that my style is super perfect for what they're doing so I'm gonna be working with them on designing what the mascara box should look like I'm trying to get a little bit more information as to what it is exactly that they're looking for because uh, I was thinking like little clouds and suns and rainbows and cute little faces and stuff but only if they're okay with little faces like I wanna I, I feel like I need some guidance first before I can really hit the ground running on what it is they want excuse me and then also I have a friend's mom that wants me to do some like check boxes more graphic more graphic design style stuff not in um, exactly in my roundhouse of like doing adorable cutesy poo stickers but this is something I've always wanted to do is like check boxes checklists anxiety check-ins um, and then the other thing is uh, like little head head circles like little dots emoji dots that has like your uh, general emote status like how you're feeling so that's another one I want to work on and again these are all things that I've wanted to do but this kind of just like kicks my butt into gear to do them but of course Christmas time is so hard to also be doing all these things because I've got these orders coming in and then uh, as you saw I've been doing a lot of DIY stuff for Christmas so that's always super exciting and I couldn't be more over the moon. I, I love pickling and doing DIY stuff because what do you get people when you're an adult where you could just buy everything, right? So I always think it's super nice to get inspired and give people things that are handmade. Not to say that you can't buy things, of course, like you can do like a combination or one or the other, but for me personally, um, it brings me a lot of joy baking cookies, pickling, making little DIY things for family members and um, it's not stuff that's just gonna sit around and collect dust and you do you may or may not use it you know what I mean so um, to me the whole idea is like I know they'll use it because it's mainly food items right <laughs> who doesn't like food but that being said I need to pack these orders um, and then get back to work cuz I am still on the same show guys it is hell in a handbasket in the sense that um, I feel for the show like there's just so much to do and um, I don't think they really saw this coming uh, I mean I kind of did but anyways I digress I'm, I'm hoping I can do what I can I kind of feel like my time on the show is really limited now and um, the software is not being friendly and things are getting extremely heavy and taking a very long time to do anything but there's only so much you can do, so I'm trying to give myself some grace and enjoying, you know, the process and the last little time I have on the show before I go on to something else. Which is so funny because everyone seems to think that I'm already on mat leave or, or like not working anymore. And I'm like, no, like, I want to keep busy until baby comes. Like, I, one, money, because uh, when I go on mat leave, I really won't make that much money through the government. And two... Um, I don't want to just be sitting around. I mean, yeah, I could just be doing my own um, artwork and, and keeping myself busy that way, but by far I still make more money in the animation industry than on my own artwork, which I hope one day will change, but this is where we're at at this point. But yeah, um, and then I had a friend at work say, you know, I'm so surprised that you're still able to work. And I said, oh, and they said, oh, because their wife ended up uh, in their final trimester just having a super hard time working because she just felt really poopy all the time and really sleepy and and couldn't keep it together so he was like super you know shocked and and inspired that I was still able to work I mean I feel great everyone keeps asking me how I'm doing um, I get heart palpitations at night and I'm finding that um, I sometimes it, in tandem with the heart palpitations I have a little bit have a harder time breathing but I can, I can tell that even talking to you guys now, depending on how quickly and how many times I take a breath, it I do have to breathe a little bit more often than I feel like I would before. So that's a little something different. But aside from that, like, I was feeling a little bit more tired earlier on, but not anymore. I do feel like I need to get up a lot at night to go to the bathroom. 
um, and then trying to get back to sleep is a little bit more difficult, but again, I know that that's a third trimester thing. But aside from that, I feel like I'm in really good spirits, and I mean, having these guys in my life has just been so, so beneficial, because they make me feel so fantastic all the time. Right, Jam Jam? She's such a good girl. But anyways, on that wonderful note, I've got a lot that I need to do uh, during my lunch break before I get back to it, and I hope you guys are having a freaking fantastic day. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Goodbye. Had a bit of a packing montage here for you and I I hope you guys like it I find it like super therapeutic to do this kind of stuff with you guys and to just showcase you know put it on the stamps put it on the stickers all that good stuff you know and uh, at this time I wanted to say thank you so much to all of my patrons you guys friggin rock you guys are so friggin amazing and i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh but yeah if you got to the end put a little christmas tree in the comment section below and i think the next time i do a vlog which won't be next week but the week after that it will be cookie making vlog because I made uh, so many cookies last night and I think that's what I want the next video to be about, just cookies. So I hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs> All right, on that wonderful note, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.